We are at the YWCA in San Pedro, California. YWCA is the oldest women's organization in the country. This particular YWCA has been in the Morgan House since its inception, pretty much, since 1858. And it's important because it was designed by the first woman architect, Julia Morgan, back in 1917. And it was designed really for women who were coming here after the war to the port area to work in the canneries and somewhere safe for them to live and be part of the community. This is significant because of the architectural style, which is craftsman style, it's a board and batten building. And it's significant as well for the architect who designed it. Her name was Julia Morgan. She was one of the first students at the University of California in Berkeley. And she was very, very talented. And evidently, Miss Morgan was a good enough architect that she was commissioned to design many YWCAs. Over a hundred years, this agency has grown to help the neighborhood and the community with the needs that are needed on the day. It wasn't just a generation ago where women needed permission to have their own credit cards, their maternity leave, and things that we take for granted today. We have advocated for those things since 1858. So when we continue to do so, we help and empower women and their families. So we help with access, access to things that the people need, in our neighborhood and it's always hard to explain or advocate for ourselves what we do. We're not horn blowers or tell people what we're doing every day, but we are helping our community with childcare, mammograms, food distribution, computer classes, and all the things that they need to be sustainable. There are many landmarks that relate to cultural history, and there are a few that relate to women's history, and that's why this is uh, so significant. But we encourage the community to come forward with nominations for historic cultural monuments. The Cultural Heritage Commission cannot go out and make nominations for potential landmarks. It is the community. It is people who live in neighborhoods who are aware of what they have, who we encourage to nominate properties Importantly, what happens in the Morgan House in Little San Pedro is extremely significant because this neighborhood has relied on the resources of this building and it might look very unobtrusive from the front and don't really know what it is, but when people have nowhere else to go, we're their last resort and we're very proud to continue to do that.